guys, it's Kelly. Welcome back to my channel today. I'm going to be sharing with you the first book haul of 2020. Uh, these books are from November and December, and a couple are from this month. I think I've gotten one or two this month. Um, I'm not going to go in any particular order because I really don't remember when I got some of these books. So, the first ones I'm going to be showing you I got for my birthday, and I showed it in my what I got for my birthday and Christmas haul. The first one is this big tome. It's called The Gaslight or By Gaslight by Stephen Price. It looks like a Jack the Ripper type thing because uh, it's got a guy walking away and it's in London in the fog. So I'm hoping it's like I hope I hope I'm right. Yeah, I'm thinking Jack the Ripper. Got Gam a Gambler's Anatomy by Jonathan Lethem. The Rope by Kanan Makia. Makaya. Um, I love this cover. I don't know what any of these are about. I got these are the books I got from Dollar Tree for my birthday. If you have not watched my what I got for Christmas and my birthday, so that's why I'm not talking about them. I don't know what they mean. I don't know what they're about. The Wings versus the World by Jade Chang. I heard about this one over on Jesse the Reader's channel. And then I got Here I Am by Jonathan Safran Fower. I said his name right this time. Go me. And it's another big tome. I like buying big books and then I'm scared to read them. Because they take too much time. But, not this one. This is not part of my haul. But, I started reading this two days ago and I got that much left. I'm loving it. If my reading vlog should be up before this one, and if you hear thunder, it, uh, we're under the thunderstorm warning. But yeah, I've never read a Jonathan Safran Foer book. I said his name right again. Another book that I got for my birthday. This one came from my mom, and it's one of her favorites. It's called Spin Cycle by Sue Margulies. Uh, like I said in that video, I think I've read this before. I'm gonna have to like start reading it and see if I remember it. I think I remember reading this somewhat I don't know it was years ago like over 10 years ago for Christmas or no for my birthday my husband gave me a $25 Amazon card because that's what I asked for and I bought two books for the kids I get something for myself and I buy for my kids that's usually how it goes because I buy for myself throughout the year but the first book I bought from Amazon is Wondersmith, The Calling of Morgan Crow, the, the sequel to Nevermore, The Trials of Morgan Crow. I think. Trials of Morgan Crow. Yep. Yeah. And I absolutely, yeah, there's the first one. And I absolutely love the first one. It was uh, one of my favorite middle grade reads of last year. And Hollow Pox, the third one, comes out in August, which I thought uh, came out sometime soon in the beginning of 2020 but I gotta wait for all year so yes I bought this one and it may look big but it's a quick read if you have kids and you're not a reader and your kids like to read get that book and then the second one I got um Ari Shaw and the Song of Death by Roshni Tchotchke the third one comes out in April and I'm mad at myself that I did not pick this up sooner. Speaking of pigeons, I am doing a blog tour um, for this book and it is a middle grade I think or a kids book middle grade and that is Real Pigeons Fight Crime by Andrew McDonald and Ben Wood. Don't know what it's about. Obviously pigeons and yeah this pigeon or this thing right here could give two fucks and it's book one so and then the second one I think it's called real pigeons eat danger and it came from random house kids this view I want to show you came from publishers so the next one is a finished copy of lucky collar by Emma Mills I had a blog tour spot go up on the 10th of January Friday and that is up on my blog now, which is linked down below, so go check it out. It's a spotlight tour. I have not read this book yet, but I'm going to get to it soon and put my blog 
or my review in that blog post. And from what I see, it's going to be a quick read because the chapters are very short. And this will be my first Emma Mills book that I read. Woven in Moonlight by Isabel Ibanez. Eban I think that's how you say it. And yeah, it's giving me jungle book vibes because it has all these wild animals on it and it's got a sword, it's got a uh, tasseled cloth thing, it's got a snake, it's got people hiding in bushes, but it's got a llama. And the one thing I like about this, I was flipping through it and then I got to the chapter headings and I was like, oh, that's Spanish, what's this mean? And then I kept flipping through it and I was like, oh, the chapter numbers are in Spanish. Like, uno, dos, tres, cuatro, seis. The one thing I remember from my high school Spanish. Numbers. Um, the next one, I think I got in November. And that is The Monster Hypothesis by Romilly Bernard. This came from Disney Hyperion. So thank you, Disney. And I have not read it yet. And this was another blog tour spot. And like I said, it'll be linked down below in my blog. I don't know what it's about. It's a middle grade. And they, it's got this big ass alligator crocodile. I'm from the south, so it's an alligator. Um, and it's got a house on stilts. So it's very swamp. And it says, the hundred years is up and the Bowring town curse is back. One, two, monsters coming for you. Three, four, they're outside your door. Five, six, first, it smells like sticks. Seven, eight, hear the growls of fate. Nine, ten, see the monsters again. It's like Freddy Krueger. One, two, Freddy's coming for you. And the last three books are part of a series, and these were also sent to me for blog tour spots. And uh, whoever's the imprint of Squarefish. I forget who sent the sent these to me. Hyperion or Random House or Hatchet. Uh, I don't remember, but I got all of these at the same time, and it is the Real McCoys series. I I don't know the series name, but it's the first book is The Real McCoys by Matthew Swanson and Robbie Bear. The second is The Real McCoys to the Crowd. And the third one is The Real McCoy's Wonder Undercover. And these are uh, middle grade and they're illustrated. So. And so. It should be a quick, easy read. And I'm going to be reading these with my kids. I don't know when. But, yeah. Thank you to whoever imprint fish should have it on there these came from Macmillan so thank you Macmillan the next few are from Dollar Tree that I bought back in November and that is Trouble Twisters the Monsters by Garth Nix and Sean Williams I think this is the second book in a series obviously that's all I buy from Dollar Tree's books in the middle of a series so and it looks really cool it's a middle grade uh, that's all I buy, seems like. Middle grade. <laughs> for my kids. In my opinion, middle grade is better than YA because middle grade topic or challenges the hard topics like uh, racism and stuff like that. And then YA is just girls swinging over boys. This one is Hum If You Don't Know the Words. And I looked on Goodreads to get some information about this one after I bought it. And this came out in 2018. And I found it at the Dollar Tree. And I bought it for a dollar in 2019. And the colors are just amazing. And it's got an owl on it. And yeah. So. It's about the apartheid in um, South Africa. And this takes place in the 70s. In Johannesburg. And yeah. Really looking forward to it. It's by Bianca. Murray, Mary, I, I think it's Murray. Is it French? I don't know. I hope I said that right. 
Marae, Barass, Marat. The last one I bought at Dollar Tree is Napoleon's Last Island by Thomas Kennelly. Thomas Kennelly wrote uh, Schindler's List, and I'm always finding his books at Dollar Tree. I didn't buy Schindler's List from Dollar Tree because I bought that off Amazon for a penny. And I found his other book, uh, Daughters from Mars. And so I read Schindler's List and uh, I thought it seemed like uh, Stockholm Syndrome. How the G Jews under Oscar Schindler just kept helping him after the war and hiding him. And uh, whenever he was an alcoholic and went bankrupt, the Jews, his former workers that he saved just kept helping him uh, yeah I get it he saved their lives but after going bankrupt twice I would have said no you saved my life I helped you once I'm not gonna help you again my hands are clean but whenever I see a Thomas Kennelly book I'm going to at Dollar Tree I'm going to pick it up because I like his writing his writing style is a favorite the last four books I want to show you are uh, what we got in Alcrate Junior and Alcrate boxes. So what we got in our November Alcrate was was the Star Spun Web, and I forget who that's by. Addie got that in her Alcrate Junior. And for our December Alcrate Junior, Ariana got Voyage of a Frost Heart or the Frost Heart. It kind of it seems similar to Avatar because the cover and the characters drawn on the front look exactly like. Sokka and Aang and Prince Zuko and so yeah those are the two that we got in November and December for the November Alcrate I got Winter Wood by Shay Earnshaw I'm just in love with this edition the white and the blue or is I love white covers it's just beautiful and stunning and then the page pages are sprayed blue and the blue hardback has this silver foiled tree branches and stars. December Alcrate had the Guinevere Deception by Kirsten White. I don't like this cover. And Kirsten White is on a freaking roll with these books, man. She put out Winterveer Deception in December. And this month, January, she put out Chosen, the sequel to Slayer, which I cannot wait to get my hands on because, because it's a Buffy the Vampire Slayer retelling or setting out, it's set in the world. And I cannot wait. I love the first one. And that's it for my first... 2020 book haul. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you in my next video.